Well, welcome back to the 1990s, guys. Starting the day off in the house, actually. It's not morning, it's afternoon. If we walk outside, it's like 90 degrees out. And on top of that, our wheat over there, if you can just see over there, is ready to harvest. And so we're gonna officially have our first harvest. We're gonna harvest wheat, grab the straw off of there, and then our pigs need fed um, because somebody forgot to feed the pigs. <clears throat> Me, maybe, possibly. And we gotta make a lot of hay also. Right now we have $669. We had $2,000, but two months went by and we had some expenses to pay. And so we're down to $600. Like we don't have much money at all. So we're gonna sell some of this wheat. Some of it we're gonna use for pigs. I thought my truck was in here, but I guess not. We still have our herbicides hooked up here. I'm gonna disconnect the trailer. You're gonna mow with a 50-20 with duels, Buck? Sold our 40-20. That is true. We got the 656, or the 806. Yeah, I ain't doing that. Not in this temperature. I like to be under the shade. True. It's gonna be hot now. You sure you got AC? Yeah, I got a couple fans going. Okay. We gotta get, I gotta get started on, uh, hey, hey, blah, 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 blah. What? I gotta get the gleaner out. I gotta get started on wheat. So, what are you standing around talking to me for? We're gonna hook up to the mixer. I gotta run up to the bin, grab some corn, mix it up in here. We'll feel, feed these hogs, because these hogs don't have any food, and then our other hogs will also feed. Last episode, we got the 9370 quad track. Gonna be our big horse, and then we got the 8400, which is gonna be another awesome tractor. And then we traded the 4020 and the old Alice for those tractors. We're full with corn in there, and then we're gonna just put it over the feed bins on the hog site. I think Buck's down there on one of them. We'll head down his way, and then we gotta do the other one. Okay, so we're gonna pull along here, fill this feed bin. Oh, come on, come on. So, we'll let that go. It's filling the feed bin. Go in here, got feed, comes from the feed bin, goes through the wall, goes through here, dumps in here. And this is feed for the hogs. So we should be good for daily chores. I'm gonna help Buck quick throw a couple bales. Shoot, we need more hay, man. You cut uh, hay, I'll get going on the straw stuff, or wheat. Put them all on there, but then let's also put a couple straw ones because the hogs down on the south side need still a little bit more straw if we want to top them off. Where did these ones unload? The side of this thing or um, in the, inside the barn? Okay, g can you drop one off so I can test? I think it is in front of the barn right here. Yeah, there you go. Cattle are fed. We have 20,000 liters of hay in there. Those guys are good. So now we're going to get out the gleaner. We're going to get cutting some wheat. I love this combine. I, it's going to be tough to sell this combine. She fires up, she runs good, and she runs like a beast in the field. Because I think combine corn, we were pushing like eight mile an hour. It was it was kind of Oops. how fast we were going. But you know what they say, you can't get meaner than a gleaner. Did that rhyme? I don't think it did. Okay, so little slight problem. We got this gleaner when our other combine broke and we didn't get a bean head, I forgot. So we have to buy a header. Okay, so to get this head, I had to give a call to the banker, Michael, talk to him. We're gonna buy the Gleaner one for 48 grand. I don't even have enough money to buy it. We gotta borrow a little more money. Okay, we're buying this thing. So now we, we're pretty much broke again, and we're in more debt. Well, this is our only debt, but yeah, you get the point. This wheat, yeah, we'll use some of it for feed, but we need to sell this and we need to get out of debt now because we just spent 48 grand on that because we want to have matching colors and we want to stay realistic with a gleaner head. Okay, so we just picked up the gleaner. I call it a bean head. I should probably call it a grain head, but we picked this up. We're going to just start harvesting on this end. I'm actually going to enter off the road here because this is actually close to the dealership instead of driving back to the farm, but this is our wheat field here. We have sprayer tracks. Hopefully this is some good yield and stuff. Uh, yield bonus is only 39% because I don't think Mean Buck fertilized it. So the yield probably isn't going to be the best, unfortunately. Here we go. And then we got a straw swath back there. So then it's going to create straw. So Buck will come back and bale it up. And then we'll have uh, straw bales also for bedding. It's cutting real good though. I mean, this gleaner, this is, this is easy for it. It's got a 28 foot head. I mean, we were on a 12 row uh, head on corn and we are doing like eight mile an hour. It was just eating through it. So this is, this is light work for the gleaner. And just doing the pass around the machine sheds. The wheat's not yielding amazing, but it's good enough. Okay, we have a full hopper. I'm gonna sprint up here, grab a wagon. Probably grab the 8400. We'll just basically fill all these wagons and we'll probably have the field harvested by then. Start with the 84. 
Okay, we're filling up the wagons. You're enjoying that air-conditioned cab over there? Well, it's not working the best, Buck. In which one? The Gleaner. Oh, no, not that one. Your Cadillac. 8400? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice cab. The Gleaner doesn't work good. 8400. If that thing isn't working, I'm taking it back to Deer. Okay, so Clint is about full, so we're going to catch him on the go with the wagons here. Eventually, I'd love to get a grain cart and put it on the 9370 quad track. That would be perfect, especially with how many acres we're going to run this fall. We may need two combines. Like, I, I really think so. And I'm not afraid to tell Buck that because I think he thinks so too. Here we go. Set our cruise control to six. Come on, Clint. Let's do this, man. And we're unloading wheat. Oh, that's working good too. What's nice about this gleaner is that the auger is so high up on the gleaner, it'll work in a big grain cart if we have a big grain cart. And we're full. Got 500 bushel already. So I'm going to pull this up here and then we'll switch to the 48. We might have to downshift going up this hill. Come on, the 8400 should have her though. And there we go. Okay, so we're raking hay and the sun's shining. So this is perfect. It would be nice at some point to get a bigger uh, rake. This thing, we've had it for what, 15 years now I'd say? She's gotten some use, so she's getting there. And we're unloading on the go again. Doing good. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take most of this wheat and give as much as possible to both of the hogs. I just need to get like an auger set up most likely to unload this. Okay, we got the auger on the back of the M and then we're going to pull this down here. The back of the H, sorry, not M. It's definitely going to be a little too long, but it'll be fine. Pretty much right there should work, I'm thinking. Then we'll attach the PTO of this tractor. And then we'll pull the 47 around and we'll unload both of these. I'm guessing we'll be able to put all this wheat in here. We'll see. It might it might fill up the bin, bin uh, like really fast, actually. Okay, everything's unloading. Let's see what we're at here. Oh no, we can hold a lot of food. Look at that. Okay, we got finished with wheat. We are done and Buck is hiding somewhere around here from me. He probably knows I want to ask him to spend some more money, I'm guessing. But he, get, he just got finished with hay, I think, and we got to finish raking and bailing yet. Ah, there he is. There's old fart. Let me get you unhooked. Probably would be better if you did. Okay. Keep coming. That's good. There you go. Alright, I'm going to grab the bale trailer. Okay. I'm going to go grab a couple of those random ones that are sitting out in the wheat field. I'm going to take that uh, all that wheat into town there. And then okay. I'm going to get the combine switched over to uh, beans because we got beans that are going to be ready here in a couple weeks. Come check this out. 1,500 bushels, baby. And guess what? It's perfectly legal. Another farmer really? was doing this and they had, a, they had a paper in the newspaper. Some city folks saw him doing this and were like, that is so dangerous. But then the, uh, the DOT came out and they're like, well, he has enough axles. Technically, he's not putting any pressure on the roadway. So I'm going to do it before it becomes illegal. But... We got a big harvest, Buck. And yes, we do. Well, maybe we might need another combine at some point. We'll see what this gets us first before we can do that, because we okay. still have the loan out from the bank, and we might need to take out more if you're going to even consider that. Oh, yeah. I forgot we had the loan. Son of a gun. Okay. Well, I'm going to get selling this. So, we got the 8400. This will handle it good. It just takes a little bit to get going here, but she does good. We only have 1150 bushel. For some reason, I told Buck 1500 bushel. No cop, no stop. Let's roll. Right now, wheat prices are honestly not that good, but me and Buck, our cash flow isn't that good, so we need some cash coming into the farm. So we're still going to sell it. It'd probably be better to wait till winter when prices are higher, but this will work. And we made it to the elevator. I got to slow her down a little bit. With this much weight, it like pretty much pushes the tractor around. Now, I don't think I can unload all four at once, but I should be able to still unload the first two. There we go. We'll unload the front and the rear. Got the first two done. We'll unload the second two in the back. Right now we got $10,000. So, doing pretty good. And there we go. So we got $20,000 from four full loads and we got some wheat in the combine yet too. Hey Buck, you on the CB? Yeah, possibly. When's that little punk of a kid supposed to get here? Don't ask me, I don't have my watch on me. Okay. Well, hopefully he's better than Daniel. Anything's better than Daniel. So if you guys didn't know, me and Buck, we're the Nelson brothers. We have a sister. Sherry Nelson. And Sherry has a son named Nate. Buck, how old is he? Like 18? 17, 18? Just graduated high school? Somewhere, somewhere around there. Anyways, he wants to be a farmer. And so we said, hey, why not take a stab at it over on our farm? He's going to live with us for a while and he's going to help us out. Basically be our it's hired help. With you. I thought he said he wanted to live with Uncle Buck. 
the back house in mine is not occupado, you can live there. Okay, because I was going to say, at my house, all he's got is the doghouse outside. Oh, look at... Well, to be fuck. fair, at that doghouse is probably better taken care of than you take care of your stuff. What? He's driving one of those mobile trash cans. Don't tell me he's in a Chevy. Yeah, he's in a Chevy. Well, to be fair, those engines are hard to kill. What did so. Sherry teach this kid? Hey, Nate, it's... It's Thursday, man. The trash can's supposed to be out by the road. So, first time on a farm. I like the beard, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Looks good. I'm I gonna... got inspirations offline. Okay, I'm going to give you a little tour of the place and stuff. Do you want to live with Buck or you want to live with me? I hear Uncle Buck keeps his house cleaner. Um, <laughs> I hear you don't, so I'm, I want Uncle Buck. Okay, okay. He'll, he'll be excited to take you on. So, a little tour of the place. This is the bin site, so this is where we're going to be unloading grain in the fall. You'll probably be run wagons, most likely. So right now, we're feeding out hogs. We got most of their feed full. And we got most of their straw full. But when you bring over straw bales, you'll just toss it in there, give them straw bales. And then when we bring feed over, sometimes we use this auger, or sometimes we have a mixer that we pull behind the farm while I'm that'll load it. Old shop, we kind of use it for storage now, because the new shop, I just put one up a year ago, up here. Bin site, like I showed you, heifer barn. So those will take hay, and then we'll put straw in there too, so you'll be doing that job. Here is- I didn't is... know that was legal. Yeah. I didn't know you keep your ex-girlfriends in a barn. <laughs> well, Buck's, we keep Buck's ex-girlfriend there. Okay, main shop, me and Buck, we just bought a 9380 quad. Also, you'll be running some wagons, possibly two. You got your CDL? Because we're hoping to get a semi at some point. I got a CDL, it may not be a legal one. Okay, if you want to go jump in the jump in the 8400, combine's full out there, if you want to unload it. Okay, so we're done with wheat. We got Nate in the 8400, and we'll probably just have him go sell the rest of the wheat here. It's not much. And then if you look to our right, we got Buck out doing straw. He's got, heck, he's got a full rack almost. Well, it's been a couple months since we've seen you guys, and it's October 1, which means we should have some soybeans that are ready to harvest here. So corn's turning, it's still high moisture, but I think we got some soybeans, and so we're gonna get started harvesting today. Oh, oh, Buck. We got Buck and Nate racing into work. <laughs> Uncle Buck, did Uncle Buck win with the Cummins? He won by hair, this is ridiculous. Illegal modifications. Well, boys, first day of harvest. Here we go. Tell me what you're guys thinking. Buck, don't, just just hear me out. We have $19,000 right now, well, almost 20. We sell enough soybeans to buy another combine so we can combine faster through this harvest because we picked up Mary Lou's ground and we picked up Janice's land too. So we have a lot of ground to cover. With one combine, it's gonna be tough. Even though that gleaner can haul, it's up to you guys. We don't have the money right now, but once we get selling some crops, we'll have enough money to buy a second combine. And a header. Oh, shoot. Okay, the header. Can't really harvest without a combine. I know, I know, I know. But that header's I mean, expensive. I mean, technically, technically, you do have two headers. One for corn and one for soybeans, right? Oh, now we're I talking. Mean, technically, you do have two headers. So technically, you can't get away with running two and then selling off of corn or soybeans, whatever, and producing the stuff and making money to be able to get another one there we go that's why we brought nate on okay we could also rent a header i don't know rent a header if we're going to be tight on funds so many more oh, we're not making any money standing here we I might know. as well at least figure it out as okay. we go well yeah because i'd like to get some brent wagons too we'll figure it out you know what mom was right you don't ever quit spending money this well, is we'd, why... be, we'd be farming with a farm all still if, if 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 we didn't upgrade yeah and i'd have a lot more money sitting in my account while i was at it what about the animals you want me to go feed them quick while you guys get that started yeah we don't have much feed yeah yeah take whatever left's in the bin for corn and feed them Okay, so we're gonna get started with bean harvest. We have, let's pull up my little notepad here. So we have beans all through here. This is a giant field and those beans are ready to harvest. And then, whoa, that's our only bean field. And then everything else is corn. Corn's gonna take forever. It's gonna be a lot of bushels we're moving. So we got two fields. This field yield potential is, or yield bonus is 61%, but this field yield bonus is like 75, 75. So these beans will yield a lot better than these beans because we didn't have lime down and we need to put lime down. Okay, first bean harvest of 1995. And it is a dusty one. <laughs> that is cool, that dusty animation behind there. I haven't even seen that before. So if you look down at the front of the header, 
the beads are pulling in good. You can see the auger pulling them all good. Sometimes they just like pull in all at once. They pull in and they slug the combine, but these are flowing through good. And this gleaner processing it perfectly. Like it is, sometimes you hear it bogged down and stuff. It's, it's not doing that at all. So we got good conditions. Right now beans, I think we'll have to take a test sample in, but I'm assuming they're running 12 or 13% moisture. The back looked good. We weren't throwing too many beans out the back. So, I mean, it's full steam ahead here. Hey Nate, you there on the CB? Yeah, I'm on CB. If you want to split those back two wagons, that would probably work out good. And then put the back two wagons on the 4755. And then for traction, we might as well put duels back on the 47 if you want to do that. I got an impact in the in the shop there. I mean, long Uncle Buck can help me. Okay, yeah. Buck, you there on the CB? Yeah, I'm currently trying to get the mess that's cleaned up up here by the bend side to get the corn down. Okay. Could you help them lift those tires up on there or with the skid steer? Yeah, I got the bucket on, but I might, I'm going to try and get this done here quick. Sounds good. We'll see you boys soon. Okay, we're topping off the back wagon. We're at an awkward angle because like I got beans in front of me and I got corn behind me. I don't want to run over it any of it, but it's working good. Oh, Grant, what's the, what percentage you at? Uh, 8%. I got the back cart uh, filled with the 8400. So if you want to get in that, and then once as soon as we get the front cart filled, go take it into town and sell the beans, that'll work good because then we can maybe buy another combine. We've got a full load, so we're going to top this off. And then the 8400 should be ready to go to the elevator, so... I think Nate's sleeping in the cab. He'll take her soon, I'd assume. Oh, Grant, where am I taking this load to? Just take it down to the elevator. They should have the highest price down there. Uh, you say I get to keep two grand though, right? <laughs> Maybe if you're good for the end of the year. Oh, so that's going to be enough. Okay, we got Gerald around the combine. We're going to do some loading on the go here. The money's rolling on in. Be interesting to see how much money we get from that. Okay, so that was basically $20,000, not bad. So we've decided we're gonna get the Gleaner because it's one of the cheapest. We're getting two wheel drive, it's still gonna have duels, it's gonna be N6, so it won't be as big as our current combine, but it'll work good. And then we're also, Gleaner's giving us a deal where they're gonna rent us a header for beans, but then we're probably gonna buy a corn header. So we'll have to rent a bean head, buy the corn head most likely, but it leaves us with enough money where we're not having to borrow money to do it, which is super nice. We're, we're, we're being comfortable with our budget. We're gonna purchase this. And they're going to haul it over for us. And we rented the header. There we go. And we still have $12,000 left, which is perfect. Okay, we got both combines rolling. So I just sprint over here to help Buck a little bit. But I'll need to be back at the combine soon. That way we can keep getting hay made here. Well, guys, we're just finishing up beans on this field. Nate is starting to harvest, take out the end rows of 29, which is a huge bean field. So then we'll start on that. And then we have, for corn, we have field 30. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 20, and 18. We're going to have a ton of corn to take out. Stay tuned, and we'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.